Hi, my good nuggets. Welcome aboard once again. Hi, wonderful and gorgeous women. I know that on this platform, we are trying to accept who we are. We are trying to develop ourselves to make sure that we're doing the best for ourselves. Okay. So, and when we are able to do all those things, then we move on to our love relationships. But listen, women, today it's, it's a serious video that I want to talk about. With those traits that I'm going to talk about, no man would ever want to be with such kind of a woman. So number one, no man wants to be with a nagging woman. So whether you are a nagging sister, you are a nagging girlfriend, a nagging fiance, a nagging wife, no one really wants to be with you. Please, when we say nagging, listen, women have been made or created, let me say that, to talk much than men. So when you are in a relationship and you nag too much, when we say nagging, everything you talk about it, every little thing, the way he brushes his teeth, the way he sleeps, the way he snores, the way he, wear his, he, he puts on his clothes, the way he eats, the way he smells, the way he does everything, nothing that your man does is pleasing to you. Everything is bad. It's always yours that is 100% checked. Please, you better put a stop to that. Men do not want you to nag. When something is going on and you do not like it, when you say one, two, they've heard. Men do not have that attitude that you have to say it and say it and say it and pump, 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 pump before they listen. They've already heard you. So mommy, girlfriend, sister, fiance, if you are listening to me, please stop nagging. Nagging will kill your relationship. Nagging will kill your friendship. Nagging will kill your marriage. Nagging will kill your engagement with the guy. Because you, you bring a lot of stress. The emotional stress is too much. The mental stress. The, please, please. Women with this kind of trait, no man will want to be with you. I'm, I'm being serious. A lot of relationships have, uh, have, have broken up due to this. If you are married to an introvert, the introvert will not be able to tell you that, hey, if I, you are nagging too much. You're talking too much. I've heard you. No, he wouldn't say that. So either he withdraws, he breaks up with you, or he will ghost on you. You never see him again. So please, is that okay? Okay. Number two, a woman who disrespects his guy, his man, for who he is. No man is going to sit down, look at you, disrespect him for who he is. Women, please, as much as um, for you on this channel, please. We also have men who are also who have also subscribed and they love what we are doing. They share it with their women, they share it with their girlfriends, they share it with their family members. Please, the Bible teaches us that we should even humble ourselves. And one form of humbling ourselves is respecting our men for who we are. If you're already married and you are listening to me, you have made a commitment already to go into to go ahead and go into marriage. Okay. So please, respect your man for who he is. If you are earning more than what your man earns, that doesn't mean you should disrespect him. If you have um, mansions more than him, if you have estate, if you have investments more than him, if you, have, you are self-employed, if you have so much things that he doesn't, women, please, let's show some respect, okay? The fact that you are maybe fluent in something, you can speak, you can speak more than him, he is, you are outgoing. He is the reserve type. That doesn't mean you should disrespect him. Okay? The fact that you are college educated and he is not does not mean you should disrespect him. No man will want to be with such a kind of woman. No man will want to be with you. So please, let's work on ourselves. We are developing ourselves. We are loving ourselves. We are accepting ourselves. We are moving on to make sure that things are really working our way well with us then we can move on to have the best kind of relationship with our men see you